Hi, I'm Joanna Juvelis. This is News Now. Middlesex District Attorney Marion Ryan and Belmont Police Chief James McIsaac gave a press conference today about the verdict in the case of a racially motivated fatal road rage incident in Belmont on January 19, 2021. verdict finding Dean Capsalis guilty of second degree murder, a violation of constitutional rights causing serious bodily injury assault and battery by means of a dangerous weapon, that weapon being a motor vehicle, causing serious bodily injury, and leaving the scene after causing injury. These convictions arose from an incident here in Belmont on the afternoon of January 19, 2021. Shortly after four o'clock that afternoon, Belmont police received a 911 call reporting that a man had been struck by a car on Upland Road. Police immediately responded, found Mr. Tapia was conscious but suffering from life-threatening injuries. Belmont Rescue transported Mr. Tapia to Mass General Hospital where he later died of his injuries. The subsequent investigation revealed that what had begun as a simple argument about whether or not a blinker was being used in traffic, four o'clock in the afternoon on a residential street that the two gentlemen, we learned from neighbors and others who had watched that the two individuals had gotten out of their cars, they were in the street arguing back and forth. By all accounts, at some point after some yelling back and forth, that incident seemed to have ended and both drivers were heading back to their car when Dean Capsalis turned and hurled a horrific racial insult at Mr. Tapia. He then got into his pickup truck and drove his pickup truck directly at Mr. Tapia, causing those injuries that resulted in Mr. Tapia's death. After having hit and dragged Mr. Tapia, the defendant fled, ultimately came back and turned himself into the police. We should make no mistake. This was a racially motivated, senseless tragedy. What is significant about today's verdict is that in Middlesex County, when we have violent incidents that are motivated by hate and bigotry, those will not be seen as just background facts. We will charge those separately, prosecute that crime separately, and seek accountability for that piece of what happened. Not only do we have Mr. Tapia, who had as some of the last words he heard on this earth, words that were meant to intimidate and threaten him because of who he was, a person of color. We have a family, partner and children left grieving, but we also have the impact that these crimes have on communities. They tear at the fabric of communities and they make people who live in our communities wonder if they belong here. It is our hope that this verdict today gives a resounding answer to that question, that people, everyone belongs in our communities. And when they are treated in this way, we will investigate, we will charge if appropriate, and we will seek full accountability. It will not be a background fact. I'm gonna turn it over to Chief McIsaac and then I'll be happy to take a few questions. Well, Police Chief James McIsaac, I'm just going to read a brief statement. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all the police officers and detectives and employees in the Belmont Police Department. They worked very hard on this case for over two years, uh, preparing for testimony and, and preparing evidence. They did an excellent job. I can't say enough about them. As Police Chief in Belmont, the murder of Henry Tapier on January 19, 2021 will always be, remain a vivid memory with me. It has taken two years for this case to proceed through our justice system. But justice has been served. District Attorney Marion Ryan and Lead Prosecutor Nicole Lalane presented a well-crafted and efficient plan for prosecuting this case. In her closing arguments, Attorney Lalane effectively refuted the defense's attempts to portray this incident anything other, as anything other than it was, which was a targeted attack motivated by hate. That took the life out of Mr. Tapia, Tapia. I was reassured as I listened to the testimony of witnesses, particularly the residents of Belmont, who witnessed this tragic crime. They did not hesitate to report what they had seen, and they rushed to provide Mr. Tapia with, his, with care in his final moments. One even chased down the fleeing vehicle to obtain the license plate, 
on the truck. The cooperation of these witnesses was essential to ensuring justice was served in this case. As I sat in the courtroom with members of the Belmont Police Department and we watched uh, the closing arguments, the Tapia family filled the rows in front of us. As a parent, my heart goes out to them. This hate crime will forever be a part of Belmont's history, but courageous witnesses who came forward and demonstrated that hate will not be tolerated here. With hard work and cooperation, hate will never define the residents of Belmont, and I'm certain our community will continue to work in making, work making Belmont an inclusive and safe place to live, work, and visit.